Sinister Balloons In Stoke Newington, Edith Goldsack thought it was the end of the world. A huge explosion rocked the house and terrified chickens were running across the back gardens of Mance Road. Not far away in Neville Road, Edith's future husband, Cyril Bishop, saw all the jars in his father's chicken feed shop jumping on the shelves. The sound was deafening. It was the 30th of May 1915 and Londoners were experiencing their first German airship raid in Neville Road. The German government believed that these raids would so terrorise English civilians that they would demand their government make peace on German terms. They realised that in good weather, with a good moon and no blackout, landmarks such as the Thames River were well defined and easy to follow to their targets. Some years later and five minutes walk from the flower and animal feed shop, Edith, or Granny Bishop as she became known, was walking through the woodland near Clissold Park. She nearly tripped on a mysterious metal ring. These rings were used to tether the barrage balloons to form a circular defence around London. Imagine all these balloons darkening the sky like close encounters of the third kind, Edith Bishop said. Many years later, on their silver wedding anniversary, Cyril Bishop and Edith Goldsack filled a room in their retirement bungalow with silver party balloons. These balloons were harmless and a far cry from those dark war years when the skies became like a science fiction experiment. <laughs>